and welcome back to the Little Curly Minecraft channel or the Kelly and Curly vlogging channel, whichever channel you are watching this video on. I want to say a big hello. Thank you for joining us again in my house, in my kitchen. Um, so the last two vlogs we done were um, how to make a princess cake and we done one I grow up, I want to be a unicorn. So basically, or a baker, we described that in the video. Um, so it's basically how to make the really nice unicorn cake. I was really impressed with myself. Um, it was for my friend's daughter's birthday and she loved it too. So this is another video and this is another when I grow up I want to be. So a lot of people were saying in the comments when I put it on Instagram that a lot of people wanted to be nurses. So they were saying like I want to be a nurse or a children's nurse. And there's actually four different types of nursing that you can do. Um, but I thought that because I'm a nurse so yeah, if you didn't know that, that's something that you now know about me. I am actually a qualified trained nurse and I was working as a nurse for two years um, in Dublin for a year and then I moved to London and worked there as a year before I became a YouTuber. Um, so this video is, yeah, when I grow old, I want to be a nurse and I'm really, really excited to go through it all with you. Um, so yeah, let's get going. in which you can become a nurse, which is a really, really exciting job. It's a really, really hard job, but it's really, really rewarding. You get to look after a little bit sick people um, and make them feel better, or you can like choose a different type of nursing where you can like, work in the community and stuff over a longer period of time, but we're gonna talk about that in a minute. Anyway, getting back to the three different ways and how you can become a nurse. Okay, so number one is when you finish school. You can go straight to college, university. That does not look like a school. <laughs> okay, so when you finish school, but you need to get a certain amount of points in your leaving cert or in your GCS, I think they're GCSEs or A-levels, I'm not really too sure in the UK, I'm not really too sure of the process um, of finishing school exams in Europe, but in Ireland it's called leaving cert. And yeah, you need to get, depending on what type of nursing, it's in between the three and the 500 mark, so they're pretty high points that you need to get in. Okay, number two option is you can wait after school until you're 23 years old. So, yeah, so you're 23. So this is what's deemed as a mature student. So a mature student is anyone over the age of 23, guys. So you can go and apply, and you don't need your leave, you didn't, you need your leaving cert, but you don't need the points. You have to go on like an interview, exam, assessment-based scheme to get in as a mature student. Okay, or number, that's straight. <laughs> number, the third way is which, how I got in. So let's rub all this off so because we can talk about how I get in. Number three is um, a, a course called a PLC. Okay, so this is a post leaving certificate course. I actually, in fact, done my leaving search twice and still didn't have enough points to go to university and to go and study nursing. So I did a pre-nursing course in a place called Colosse de Dulic, which is in Kulak in Dublin. And I don't know, it was a one year course in, it wasn't nursing studies, it was in a course called Health Services. Um, so I done that and it was really, really fun. I made a lot of friends that I'm still friends with now. So when I was doing that course, you needed eight distinctions at least to get in to college and there was only 10 spaces. But I think there were actually 11, but I was one of the lucky ones who was chosen. So I went from my PLC course, my one year course into university. I got into nursing, I was so happy. So that is the three different ways in Ireland on how you can get in and do nursing. Okay, so you're in nursing. There's actually four different types that you can study, not just one. And not a lot of people know that. Okay, so four types. Okay, so one is general nursing. So general is pretty much in your general hospitals. So in Ireland, you have the likes of Bowman Hospital, you have the likes of the Matter, um, Tala Hospital, and these are big, big hospitals, and they look after people who are going in for like surgeries, people who have heart attacks, like. 
like a general hospital. Um, so that is general nursing. It's four years as well. I think the points are a lot that are higher than the other types of nursing. But um, yeah, so they're like the hospitals you would see on in on Grace Anatomy and ER, those big, big, big types of hospitals. So that's general nursing. Okay, number two is the type of nursing that I do. And this is called, in Ireland, different everywhere else, intellectual disability. Um, yeah, in different countries it has different names. So like in the UK, it's learning disability. So I do intellectual disability nursing. So I specialize in the area of intellectual disability, looking after and caring for and providing nursing care and not just nursing care, it's like a holistic care um, for people who were born with an intellectual disability or who had an acquired brain injury later on in life. So this is kind of, it's not like the general nursing where patients might be in and out in a couple of weeks or a couple of months. These patients normally that I was looking after, I was coming into their home um, or I was going into a service where they lived. So I was looking after them on, probably for for, year, for months and for years. So that was my type of nursing. Okay, so that's intellectual disability nursing. Okay, so we're gonna go on to the third type of uh, nursing and I can never spell it right and I really probably should because a lot of my friends are nurses, or especially psychiatric. Okay, so that's psychiatric, psychiatric, I don't even think I spelled that right. Psychiatric nursing. Um, yeah, so that, look, a psychiatric nursing specializes in people with psychiatric problems, um, such as just loads of those, such as uh, schizophrenics, uh, people who have, have depression, um, eating disorders, um, yeah, it's, it's so broad, it's so broad and it's, it's such a cool type of nursing. A lot of my best friends are psychiatric nurses and they love their jobs and it's really, really fulfilling. Really hard, but a really fulfilling job, so they're great. Okay, going on to the final one. And this was a one I was accepted to do before I went into YouTube. Okay, so this is children's, imagine, oh my gosh, and general. And it's combined, guys. It's combined as one course, but the first three, general intellectual disability and psychiatric nursing is a four year course, where the children's and general course is four and a half years. Um, but, oh, get to look after the babies. <laughs> the small, small babies. Um, so there are two uh, children's hospitals in Ireland. Not in Ireland, there are two in Dublin. There is Temple Street and then there is Crumlin. Um, but I think they're all like merging into woods. I'm not really too sure what's going on with that. Um, so I was expected to go to Temple Street to look after all the babies, but I ended up taking a different path in my life and doing this job that I'm doing now. So these are the four types. I was the intellectual disability nurse and it was really, really exciting. So there you have it there. There are the four different types. So once you have given your type, so once you're in, you, you're you in, you're in college, <laughs> in university. So um, once accepted into the courses, it's the Bachelor of Science. It's actually not a nursing degree. I can't even spell science. It's a science degree, which is really, really cool because you can apply for different courses after you're finished because it's not just a nursing degree. It's a science degree. It is a level eight. Um, and you can do level seven, level six, level five, or level nine. I think actually level nine is, I'm not too sure if it's your postgrad. Anyway, I'm blabbering, I'm blabbering, I'm blabbering. Anyway, so there's different places in Ireland, different universities that uh, do the degree at DCU which is where I went to, UCD, uh, Trinity, and there's like Carlo IT, um, Dundalk IT, there's a lot of ITs that do it. I think they do do it at a diploma level as well, but I'm not too sure that if you, I'm not too sure really, because I, I haven't done the level eight, I'm not, I haven't really looked into it that much, um, the level seven for the diploma. Anyway, okay, so once you're accepted, you're there for your level eight science degree, and you were there, guys, for four years. So the course is split over four years. So in first year, you're in big massive lecture halls with uh, general nurses, psychiatric nurses, intellectual disability nurses, children and general nurses. You're all in there together. You're learning everything as one. So there's about uh, 250 in one lecture hall for the whole year. So you study, 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 and then you've accepted a set of exams at the end. Um, you also have a so the four years is split up into placements, um, where you do, uh, you go and do work experience in a hospital, and then you do college work as well. So I think the first year you only have four weeks of placement in a hospital, the rest is college work. Okay, so 
then you go on to year two and three, which are, you get more placements. So you're sent out to different services, different hospitals, um, like where you're assessed on your skills and what you're learning. It's really, really scary when you're just kind of <laughs> there having to, you know, be a nurse to someone, look after someone, but you always have a preceptor, which is another nurse who's already a qualified staff nurse who is there to guide you along the way. So that is your fourth, well, that's your, and we'll talk about fourth year in a minute. So you have your college um, time, you have your placement time, um, where you go, and if you're actually in a hospital working, following nurses, minding really, really sick patients, which is kind of scary at the start. Three, you have practical exams as well, um, and they're called OSCEs. Um, so you basically are like, in a, you go in and you have to, like you learn all these skills as you go along, so you have to go in and practice them on dummies in college, it's crazy. And then uh, you have actual exams as well. Okay, so that's the four main components, and also on your placements you are assessed by paperwork through cards. Um, they're just like an assessment tool as well. They're really, they're, 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 they're hard, but they're, it's fun, it is. And finally, we're just gonna talk about the fourth year because the fourth year is like completely different. Okay, so the fourth year, the final year is, I'd say about a month of college and then you have to do a 36 week internship in your hospital, in your partner hospital. Intern, I can spell internship where you're basically nearly qualified as a nurse. So you're really trusted to do, we've well, done four years, so you're nearly there looking after patients by yourself. Not just yet, you are still guided by the, the staff and the nurses who are there already. So you're not on your own just yet. Yeah, so the 36 week internship, it's difficult and it's hard. The whole four years are really, really hard, but it's really worth it. So after the four years, you then graduate and you become a nurse and you're working out by yourself and taking on the skills and the intuition and everything you've learned out into the real world. It's it's really, really, it's an exciting career. It's really, really fun because you get to, you, you get to look after people. You you get to meet a lot of cool people. You make a lot of friends. It's, it's, it's a hard job. It is a hard job. But for anybody who commented on my video saying that, not my video, on my Instagram, saying that they want to be a nurse, made me really, really excited. And this is how I became a nurse. If you have any questions about on becoming a nurse or, I don't know, any questions at all, leave a comment in the comment box below and I will be I will make sure to get back to you guys. Um yeah, I'm really excited and I really hope that you're enjoying this when I want it, what I want to be when I grow older series. Next up we have something really, really exciting. Um so I can't wait for you to see that. But um have a great week guys and until next time I'll see you again soon.